Is your ASUS ROG laptop running a little bit too hot or loud? Or maybe you just want to take full advantage of your brand new gaming laptop and squeeze every last drop of performance out of it. Well, with G Helper, you can take full control of your laptop. You can create custom fan profiles, set custom power limits for your CPU and GPU, and much more in this tiny little program. Keep in mind though that G Helper does not work on every single ASUS laptop. And some functions like undervolting will not work on some processors. So check beforehand whether this is the case or not. All right, before we install G Helper, we will need to do some things beforehand. If your laptop is brand new, make sure to first install all new Windows updates. Then we'll open up Armory Crate and install all of the updates that are available in here. Sometimes there will also be some extra updates in the MyAsus app, so do those as well. And while we're in MyAsus, make sure to register your device, so you can claim factory warranty if something happens to it. Once we remove the MyAsus app, you cannot do this anymore, so make sure to do it now. Now we'll actually need to install G Helper. Before we do that though, we need to uninstall Armory Crate and the MyAsus app from this laptop. G Helper is basically a replacement for these apps, so keeping them both on your laptop might cause issues. To uninstall Armory Crate, we need to download the Armory Crate uninstall tool from ASUS's website. I know, crazy, right? Open the exe file you just downloaded and follow the steps. It'll be pretty self-explanatory. After Armory Crate has been murdered, we're going after the MyAsus app. This one's a lot more simple. You just search MyAsus into the Windows search bar, you right-click it, and you press uninstall. And once that's taken care of, let's just restart the laptop just to make sure. And now your machine is ready to install G Helper. G Helper is developed by just one guy, so you can either download it from his GitHub page over here, or from ghelper.com. And maybe leave a donation, because G Helper is awesome and this one guy is doing a great job. Once you press download, you'll get this single exe file. Now this is the entire G Helper program, so make sure to keep it somewhere safe, like on your desktop. When you open it for the first time, open it as an administrator and tell Windows Defender to fuck off. You might need to install .NET Framework if you don't have it yet. If you press the continue here, it'll take you to the Microsoft download page and you'll download the installer automatically. Just open that exe file and follow the installer. Again, it's pretty self-explanatory. Once that's done, just run G-Helper as an administrator again, and voila, G-Helper is installed. You can pin it to your taskbar if you want, so it's very accessible. Now, once you open G-Helper, there's a good chance that some ASUS services are still running. This can interfere with G-Helper, and we can easily kill them with this handy dandy little button here. Oh, and it's also smart to make sure that G-Helper starts once you boot up your PC. So check this little box. Now the biggest advantage of G Helper over Armory Crate is the minimal user interface. Armory Crate is pretty good for a gaming app, but it's incredibly bloated, has slow loading times, and just has unnecessary limitations. On the other hand, G Helper is just this one tiny window that removes all the unnecessary stuff, but retains most of the features. I say most of the features because unfortunately it does not have the resource manager overlay like Armory Crate does. But unlike Armory Crate, you can use every power profile while on battery, which is great. In Armory Crate, you can only select the silent and performance profile while on battery. It's also a lot more lightweight than Armory Crate, using less of your CPU and RAM. But another huge advantage is the ability to undervolt your CPU. Like I said, this is not available on every processor though. For example, most Intel CPUs cannot be undervolted. Now, undervolting can make your CPU run cooler and even a little bit faster. Oh, and you can also create your own custom fan and power profiles. So you have a lot more control over if your laptop sounds like a jet engine taking off. Now I'll show you what I found to be the best settings for the 2025 Zephyrus G14. Now I'm pretty sure these profiles work for every other Zephyrus model as well, but don't take my word for it. I always use the silent profile when I'm on battery. I use this when I want the longest battery life and the least fan noise. My fan profile is quite aggressive and the fans only turn on when the CPU reaches around 62 degrees Celsius. 
but this does keep the laptop very quiet in normal use. I kept the CPU wattage at 25 watts on all limits, but I did not touch the GPU since I have it turned off on battery anyways. And lastly, I undervolted the CPU at minus 15. Now when I'm gaming, I use my own custom turbo power profile. On this profile, the fans kick in a little earlier, around 60 degrees. The CPU power limit is set to 90 watts for the most performance. I overclock the GPU's core clock and memory clock by 150 megahertz. And I use the same undervolt as on the silent profile, so minus 15. And the results of these custom profiles are just downright insane. In 3D Mark Time Spy, this RTX 5070 Ti model of the Zephyrus G14 normally scores around 13,000. But with my custom turbo profile, it got almost 16,000 on its GPU score. That is quite literally higher than a base RTX 5080 G14. Folks, that is crazy. And this translates into actual gaming performance as well. In Cyberpunk, with that custom turbo profile, it performed on par or even better than the RTX 5080 model. That's like an extra GPU tier higher than with the normal power profiles. And you might think, oh, they're probably running a lot hotter and louder as well. No, shut up. I'm just kidding, I love you. The temperatures actually stayed cooler than before. So it runs cooler and faster with no real downsides. Battery life also got a nice little bump with the help of that slight CPU undervolting. But not as much as last year's model. So I guess this HX chip is already very efficient. Yeah, obviously it's a pretty good idea to download G Helper, especially if you want that extra performance. I am a bit bummed out that I did not try G Helper on these laptops before though, because it makes them a lot faster and gives them way better value. But hey, at least now we know. I'm sure the RTX 5080 model will also benefit a lot from G Helper. I mean, I've seen scores go as high as 18,000 on TimeSpy. But I couldn't test it since I sent that unit back a couple of days ago. Now let me give a huge shout out to my YouTube members. Soundwive, Thomas, Inky, Mr. Frosty Dude, Dropzone One, Martijn Snijkers, David Gill, Felix Nathan, Flimsy, Lawrence De Fabrizio, Aki, Disco Volante, Walter, and Suryansh. If you become a YouTube member, you get early access to content of mine, a shout out at the end of every video, and you also support me as a creator to make these videos. And of course, you'll also be part of the Cool Guys Club, so you can use cool gifts like these in the comment section. So please join if you're interested. And I will see you all in the next video. Bye bye.